When astronomers first catalogued 3 Pi Atlas in July 2025, the world barely noticed. After all, it was just another interstellar traveler, another piece of cosmic debris wandering through the vast emptiness between stars. The third object of its kind ever seen, sure, but still by all appearances, nothing more than a silent visitor passing through the solar system on a one-way trip. But then the James Webb Space Telescope, arguably the most powerful eye humanity has ever opened to the cosmos, locked onto it. And what it saw changed everything. This wasn't just an icy rock being warmed by the sun. Deep within Three Eye Atlas, something was glowing. Not randomly, not chaotically, but rhythmically, like a pulse, like a heartbeat. And as the days went by, what started as a strange curiosity began evolving into something far more disturbing. Brightness levels soared beyond prediction. The object began emitting thermal energy from within, not from its sunlit surface. Then came the signals, radio pulses repeating with inhuman precision. And finally the course change. The object veered intentionally. This wasn't a rock on a passive path. This was an object behaving with intent and possibly with awareness. Something is inside Three Eye Atlas, and the James Webb Telescope may have just confirmed that it's alive. At first, it was just a statistical outlier, a bright dot among many in the Webb Telescope's infrared feed. But as the team reviewed the data from the NER spec instrument, one anomaly refused to be dismissed. Thras Atlas didn't behave like any other object in space. Typical interstellar visitors dim and brighten irregularly as they spin, eject material, or reflect sunlight unevenly from icy surfaces. But Three Eye Atlas showed no such variability. Instead, its brightness remained eerily constant. Even more alarming, the object emitted a centered, focused glow from its core, like a miniature furnace pulsing at exact intervals. Every four hours, the heat surged and faded in a perfectly timed cycle, like a biological rhythm. The pattern was too precise to be geological. It didn't correspond to rotation, solar wind, or any known natural process. It came from deep inside, completely unaffected by the changing angle of sunlight or the object's distance from the sun. Scientists called it a thermal anomaly, but off the record some began whispering another word, heartbeat. The pulse was slow, deliberate, and mechanical, resonating not like a star's radiation, but like an engine breathing in deep space. Something inside this object was generating internal energy, independent of external forces. And for those studying the patterns, one terrifying question began to emerge. What kind of object powers itself in the dark? As the thermal data became impossible to ignore, radio astronomers joined the investigation. Telescopes across the globe, from South Africa to California, aimed their receivers at Three Eye Atlas. For days, the feeds were clean. Then came the breakthrough. The Allen Telescope Array detected a faint narrow band signal, a consistent pulse emerging every four hours, perfectly synchronized with the thermal surges detected by Webb. At first, skepticism reigned. Could it be noise and echo, local interference? But as hours turned to nights and nights into weeks, the signal did not waver. It was steady, exact, and incredibly persistent. The pulse wasn't just present. It was adaptive, showing minute variations aligned with fluctuations in the solar wind. Multiple facilities confirmed the same pattern, ruling out equipment error or human-made sources. The repetition was too mathematically clean. Fourier analysis revealed a stable carrier wave unlike anything naturally occurring in space. It was as if something on board 3i Atlas was not just active but trying to broadcast. Teams attempted to match the signal to known pulsars, neutron stars and cosmic background radiation, but every test returned negative. There were no natural explanations left. The last test involved sending a simple message back, a series of prime numbers, elements of the periodic table and basic mathematical constants. 72 hours later, a reply arrived. Distorted, faint, but it was there and it arrived on time to the second. Something had heard us and something had answered. It was August 18th when everything changed again. Webb's continuous feed captured a sudden flare from 3 Eye Atlas, an explosive surge of energy that increased the object's brightness by over 40% in less than an hour. No comet behaves like that, not even when erupting with jets of vapor or dust. But even more shocking was what followed. The recalibration of the object's trajectory showed a subtle but undeniable course correction. 3i Atlas wasn't just drifting anymore. It was steering. 
the change brought it closer to the ecliptic plane of the solar system, aligning it more precisely with the inner planets. The European Space Agency's orbital modelers, led by Marco Michelli, rerun simulations attempting to attribute the maneuver to outgassing or other physical processes. But the math didn't fit. The thrust required for such a shift was far greater than any natural jetting could produce. And more tellingly, the flare and the course change occurred simultaneously, as if one triggered the other. No known comet, asteroid, or interstellar object has ever altered its own trajectory. Not like this, not with purpose. If something aboard 3i Atlas was responding to us, our signal, our instruments, our presence, then this was no longer just an observation. This was an encounter, and whatever was piloting this object had just made its first move. In the aftermath of the flare and trajectory shift, attention turned to the object's composition. Spectroscopic analysis was accelerated across all major observatories. The team at Johns Hopkins, led by Carrie Liss, began dissecting every wavelength Webb could deliver. What they found deepened the mystery tenfold. While common comet elements like water ice, CO2 and carbon were present, they were overlaid by absorption lines never before recorded in nature. Some indicated the presence of metallic alloys, including rare earth elements used in advanced manufacturing here on Earth. Others hinted at quantum materials, theorized in laboratories, but never observed outside speculative physics papers. These weren't random cosmic compounds. They were engineered, structured at a molecular level to behave in ways that natural materials cannot. Certain reflections in the infrared spectrum mimicked the optical profiles of metamaterials designed to bend light, the same kind used in stealth technologies. In short, 3i Atlas wasn't just active. It wasn't just responding. It was constructed with a level of precision beyond anything humanity has ever produced. And if the materials are synthetic and the signals are deliberate, then it's no longer a question of what 3i Atlas is. The question now is who built it and why it's here. While spectrometric analysis continued, researchers at Caltech's Deep Space Lab began experimenting with passive signal mapping, essentially listening to 3i Atlas across multiple wavelengths simultaneously to detect any structural resonance. What they discovered shook the scientific community to its core. The object wasn't just emitting radio pulses. Its entire mass was acting like a resonant chamber. Every few hours, a low-frequency hum reverberated across the X-band and microwave spectrum, echoing back to Earth with a delay too consistent to be random. What's more disturbing is that when the signal was reversed, slowed down, and layered over a sonogram of human speech, it produced patterns eerily similar to language, not any known language, but structured, intelligible, as if something inside 3i Atlas was mimicking communication, or worse, listening and learning. Some analysts believe the object wasn't just reacting to signals. It was adapting, aligning itself to the vibrational logic of human transmission, perhaps preparing to speak in a way we could finally understand. But others feared a more chilling alternative. What we were hearing might not be the object itself, but something inside, stirring, waking, preparing to emerge,